We'll take you to the Ashanti region, where the chief of Tafo Zongo in Kumasi, Al Haji Seidu Chepsa, has advised young people in his area to abide by government's directive and stay home. His advice comes on the back of report that some young people or youth have been shooting at security personnel deployed to enforce the lockdown rules. Mahmoud Mohamed Rudin has more on the story. So I would like to appeal through you, as I said, that we should all respect very well the protocol that the president and his authority, the authorities of the health ministry and security agents have put in place. We should observe the hygiene, personal hygiene. We should observe the social distancing. And above all, we should respect the security agents when they come to work within our communities. We should not provoke them, as I have heard that some people are doing. It's not nice. It doesn't give us any good name, especially Zongo. We must respect ourselves. Now we have people in higher places, people of Zongo in all works of life in the country. We should start to lead a very good life and leave the old type of names that we attracted to ourselves as being people without a, uh, who are not obedient to state laws. Alhaji Chipsa also wants residents of Zango across the country to be law abiding. He says it has been difficult for chiefs in the area to take immediate decisions on youth who are violating the directive. In fact, right now we cannot meet, I mean the chiefs, we cannot meet, but I think I have to find a way of sending messages to all of them so that they can also get in touch with their elders on telephone and talk to them that uh, they should advise their children to stop all these things. It's not nice. Uh, you know, as I said, now the Zongo we are evolving. We've got many, the vice president, for example, we can say he's a Zongo boy, uh, Hamid, uh, Sadiq, many of them. I think we should not drag their names into mud, you know. We must, we must advise ourselves. Uh, things are changing. Zongo is no longer before. A report by Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin.